guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video with the new Colored Rain Botanical Collection. So if you want to see swatches, hear some first impression thoughts, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on my channel. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years now, so if you haven't subscribed, highly recommend doing so. I'm trying to get to 11K before the end of 2021. Not sure if that's gonna happen, but a girl can dream. Anyways, I'm so excited because Color Drain used to be one of my favorite indie brands and I haven't purchased from them in a while. I actually don't think they've launched anything this year other than some cream blushes, correct me if I'm wrong, and maybe, and maybe some bronzers. I'm not 100% sure. I did order one of their bronzers in this order. I placed a $200 Color Drain order. It's a little ridiculous, but that's why we work so hard here on YouTube because that is like my AdSense money and I always put that right back into my channel so I can buy new makeup and test out products and tell you guys all about these things so in case they're horrible, you didn't spend your hard-earned money on it. So let's start off with this palette. This is a palette called Rebellious Nudes and it dropped a little before the Botanical Collection and I figured I'd just wait and pick this up the same time as the Botanical Collection because there's no point buying two different orders. So there's three shimmers in this and the rest of the shades are matte. So let's go ahead and swatch the palette. I'm gonna swatch the mattes first just because I feel like, you know, mattes are kind of boring compared to the metallics. So we'll save the metallics for last because I'm curious to see. So the last colored rain palette I tried was the Juicy Boost palette and I'm pretty sure if you guys were watching my channel back then, you know what a disaster that whole situation was. So I was nervous to buy this, but I figured I'd take one for the team. So as I was watching the Rebellious Nudes, I just realized that they forgot my bronzer that I ordered. They forgot the eyeshadow base in my package. And then one of my palettes from the Botanical Collection has two shattered shades in them. So my order arrived Christmas Eve and it was very chaotic obviously because we have to go to church. We celebrate Christmas Eve with my husband's family. So I had a lot going on but I did open everything up and check to see that nothing else was broken and I did email them saying the palette was broken, my bronzer wasn't included and I totally forgot about the eyeshadow base and now as I'm sitting here I just checked my order confirmation and I did pay for the eyeshadow base as well so it's really frustrating now that I have to email them again for the third time to ask for the eyeshadow base and I'll keep you guys posted on what they say. I feel bad because it almost seems like I'm you know causing problems but it's like what the heck I paid for this stuff and I mean, I order a lot of makeup, so it's uh, easy for me to forget what I ordered, but it doesn't happen very often where my package is missing stuff. Very recently, I had ColourPop not put in a palette that I had ordered, but this order, it's like two of the products I paid for aren't in my order, so hopefully I'll hear back from them, but now I'm like frustrated and my mood, <laughs> my mood is ruined. Anyway, oh, that's frustrating, but... Consider this your friendly reminder to cross-check your orders, especially if you're like me, you might forget to check and it makes me wonder like how much makeup I've ordered and not double check my packing slip or checked it against my order and I've never gotten the things I've paid for, you know? Sometimes you think about that or is it just me? Because I know sometimes I think about like what if, about like the stuff like that you bought at Walmart that you forgot to bag or it like fell out of your cart or you know, weird shit like that. Anyway, these mattes in the Rebellious Nude swatch really, really nicely. So the mattes look really pigmented and promising. I can't wait to put these on my eyes. And then let me swatch the shimmers. I feel nice, pretty colors. The last shade is a duochrome like green with a kind of burgundy undertone but the shimmers are very very nice and shimmery let me tell you the names of all these shades so the first three are the shimmers we have misunderstood rebel with applause and big boss energy hopefully you can see how beautiful and shimmery these are okay so for the matte shades we have act up hashtag moods temper tantrum I do what I want, what rules, big girls don't cry, grown up things, I'm speaking, and who gonna check me? 
<laughs> I feel like I butchered that and you need to say that with a bit of a slang accent, but uh, I did the best I could. <laughs> anyway, there's the mattes and the shimmers. So next we're going to look at the Rose Garden palette. This is the one with the two shattered metallics in it. So they are sending me a replacement palette of this. I don't know when it's coming, so I'm just going to use this and film. Okay, so let me give you the shade names of this particular palette. We have Bronze Rose, we have Gold Rose, Emerald Rose, Chestnut Rose, Chocolate Rose, and Rosewood. So those are the shade names for the Rose Garden palette. Okay, so this is the Botanical palette, and on the back here it says that this is distributed by Colored Rain in California. Net weight is 9 grams, made in the PRC, and it is cruelty-free with a 12-month shelf life. And I believe the palette packaging was designed by Doodles by the Bunny. I'm not sure if she also had anything to do with the color stories. But here's Botanical, so I'm going to swatch that. The shades do look very similar, so I'm very curious to see what the difference is. And more than anything, I'm really curious to know if the formula is better now. Okay, so the next six shades are from the Botanic palette. We have Primavera Arboris. I think I butchered that. Hydrangea Leonidas. Rose Gold and Cream Gerbera. Gerbera. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rose Gold is like a berry shade, so that kind of threw me off. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. These seem very similar. <laughs> I don't know if I miss some kind of memo, but I mean, these just look more saturated and these look less saturated. So I'm not really sure why we needed two different palettes if the shades were going to be so similar. I feel like this could have easily been a palette but I know people are really into small palettes so maybe that's why but there's that on the eyeshadow palettes I believe I swatch all of those now let's see here we have some lipsticks so the collection launched with five lipsticks or like lip products actually seven because there's two lip liners I'll swatch those in a second but for the lip products we have a clear gloss this is called are we clear then we have, this is a mauve rose shade, and this is a liquid lipstick, and we have another liquid lipstick called Peach Rose. So there's those two. I'm going to swatch them. I love liquid lipsticks, and Colored Rain has a really nice liquid lipstick formula, so hopefully these are that same good quality. I don't think I need to swatch the clear gloss, so I'm not going to do that. Here are the two liquid lipstick colors. That rose peach shade looks right up my alley. And then we have two traditional bullet lipsticks. These remind me of those e.l.f. lipsticks. They have like a clear tube. So we have Sugar Rose and Lotus. So I'm going to swatch Sugar Rose. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a pretty matte mauve shade. So pretty. I have so many lipsticks. I have been like cleaning out my room. Here is the other shade called Lotus. And that's like a pretty, oh yeah, it's a creamy brown. Yes. Oh my goodness. I love that. So those are the four lip colors. And then for lip liner, we have the shade Decadent which is a pretty brown. I'm left-handed, so I can't use my right hand to color with the lip liner, so I'm gonna have to draw on my right hand. And then we have the shade Queen Things, which is a, oh, such a pretty burgundy shade. And these feel really nice and creamy, and they're like those mechanical lip pencils, so you just like wind them up, which I think will be really nice. So those two lip liner shades are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that burgundy? <gasps> I am very happy with the lip colors. So next I did buy their brush set. I really, really, really wanted this brush because it reminds me of the Marc Jacobs brush. This is their large powder brush. And then we have the angle powder and we have the angled blush brush. So these are the three face brushes that come in the brush set. And then we have some eye brushes. So I bought the entire thing just because I was curious and it comes in this really cute mesh pouch. And like I said, I did buy the bronzer, but I didn't get the bronzer, so can't comment on the bronzers yet, but it's on its way. And then the Botanic Collection came with two 
of their cream blushes, which kind of remind me of the Milani cream blushes, if I'm being honest, even the packaging. So this one is called Copper Rose Cream Blush, and this one is called Stiletto Rose Cream Blush. So we have two kind of pinky shades, and I'm guessing these are going to be very, like, women of color friendly because Colored Rain is a black-owned brand. So I'm just going to swatch these quick on my hand just so you guys can get an idea of the shades. And then I'm going to use them. I'm going to use at least one of them on my look today. So they're very gently pigmented, but as you can see, there's a lot of pigmentation there. I'm guessing I'm going to be able to build these up really, really nicely on my cheeks so I will keep you posted on that okay so while I was filming all the swatches I did hear back from colored rain so they are gonna be shipping me the eyeshadow primer and they also gave me a $10 gift card which I think is very sweet so again I'll keep you posted on <laughs> whether the eyeshadow primer actually gets to me or not but so far I feel like that's decent customer service as far as I'm concerned like Obviously things happen, you know, it's human beings that are packing boxes and people forget stuff all the time or they get distracted or when there's a lot of orders like trust me I used to be in order fulfillment. It's not as easy as people think it is So there's a lot of moving parts postal services things like that So I think the best you can do is always like Offer really incredible customer service if something does go wrong and I feel like colored brain has done that so I just want to mention that because you know, I, I am a small YouTube channel, but I still realize that I have a lot of impact and somebody watching this could choose to shop with any of the indie brands or not shop with any of the indie brands that I talk about because of the things that happened to me because that's the whole point of watching YouTube, but just want to keep you guys posted. Anyway, sorry, I'm going on a tangent. So let's, let's see. I think I'm going to do two different eye looks. I don't know how different they're going to look because, hello, I feel like these eyeshadow palettes look very similar, but... You know what, let's just give it a chance. I'm gonna try out the colored brain brushes. I'm grabbing this small blending brush. I love the aesthetic of these handles. And I will say their brushes aren't very expensive. I think the whole set was like 60 something. You guys know how much I love trying out affordable eyeshadow brushes or like brush sets in general. So I know I promised you guys a video where I was gonna talk about some of the brush sets I've gotten recently and I still will. I want to wash my brushes and then I think I'll do that video but yeah I've gotten some really good brush sets recently like Juvia's Place, the BUK Beauty Hot and Flashy collection, Blend Bunny's Blend Brush collection, oh my gosh so many so many things so very very excited so I'm just using the shade Chestnut Rose from the Rose Garden palette and I'm just blending that into the crease and next I'm going to go into the shade Rosewood so I'm going to use all the mattes in this palette um, just because I figure why not and rosewood is just like that perfect terracotta brown shade so I'm just blending that into chestnut rose and helping deepen it up and then on the outer corner we're gonna use the shade chocolate rose which is a deep brown shade and I'm just gonna stick to the same brush and I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner Ooh, so pretty. So you guys, tell me, is anybody making New Year's resolutions for 2022? I think one that I'm going to try, listen, nobody's perfect. I'm going to try and see if I can do a better job of keeping track of my purchases. I feel like every year I try, so far this year in 2021, I did a really good job of tracking all the eyeshadow palettes I tried this year. That was one of my things that I wanted to do better from 2019 or 2020 sorry <sighs> everybody else feel like 2020 didn't exist anyway so uh, from 2020 was to keep track of the eyeshadow palettes i used throughout the year because it makes it easier when you have to rank the palettes otherwise it's a nightmare to remember all the palettes you've tried in a year especially if you have tried as many palettes as i have this year so i'm glad i kept a really good list on my phone so i have all of that for 2022 one of my goals is to keep track of all of my purchases better and i really want to do the makeup inventory thing the snups app the one that alex recommended I guess she made an update saying they went out of business because I was having a hard time like using the app and she said 
they kind of just like went belly up so that app is no longer in existence or working or whatever so I don't use that one anymore but she did find a new one called glow something I can't remember let me check my phone because I have it on my phone it's called glow in me and I've been playing with it I haven't done much in way of inventory with it yet but I will keep you guys posted on how that one works out because I would love to keep my inventory in it and I know Alex had said she was um, working on getting all of our makeup inventory on that app so I haven't seen if she said anything to follow up but if you guys know let me know I'll try and link the information or the video where she talked about it in my description box not a hundred percent sure I'll be able to do that if not if anything I'll just link her video so I will say the metallics not as punchy as I was hoping and the mattes were really nice but the metallics not so great ton of fallout and I did use my finger again just to kind of help brighten it up but I feel like for just being like a bronzy shade I was expecting more impact so it's a very meh neutral eye look with the Rose Garden palette. So that's that one on that eye. And now I'm going to switch over to the botanical and then we'll do the under eyes at the end so that we can finish off the okay, look. So I'm going to grab this melt brush and I'm going to go into the shade Iberis. I'm probably butchering that. It's a beautiful berry shade. So I'm just going to coat the brush. And I'm going to throw that all over my crease. It's a really pretty pigmented shade. Okay, so next I'm going to dip into Rebellious Nudes and I'm going to go into the black shade Who Gonna Check Me with this small blending brush. It's called a mini blender. And I'm just going to use that to deepen up this eye look with the Botanical Palette. I love using blacks to deepen up the outer corner. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. So I could have used like the brown shade from the Rose Garden palette, but I figured let me just try the other palette as well. I like the size of this brush a lot too, so that's nice. And then we just need a flat brush. So I'm going to grab this one. This is the round shadow brush from the brush set. And I'm going to go into the shade. I think I'm going to use Hydrangea, which is the pretty green. Kind of a different color story because you think I'd want to do like the berry. But I think I want to try the green and see how well this works. Okay, this one's like already working way better than the bronzy shade in the rose palette. So that makes me happy. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of rose gold and kind of put it in between the black matte and the shimmery green. Also, let me know down below, did you guys get the Papagrath Bridgerton collection? Oh my gosh. Freya kind of kept us up uh -huh, that night and I swear I thought I was almost going to miss the launch. But luckily I woke up before 8 and I was able to place my order so I wasn't sure what I was gonna do I was gonna buy the whole set but I wasn't sure like $200 is a lot so I did end up doing it because I was like oh, I kinda want everything anyway so let me just do it so I did so there's that <laughs> on that okay for a lower lash line since this one's a more neutral I'm gonna use ColourPop Sunny Veil just like a brown eyeliner Oh my gosh, this ColourPop eyeliner set is so worth it. And then for this eye, I'm going to use the shade Charmer. Okay, so now it's time for the lower lash line. I'm just going to grab my favorite pencil brush. I'm going to go into that purple shade called Iberis. I don't think I'm saying it right, but whatever. I'm just going to blend that all the way. And then I'm going to go into the green shade Hydrangea. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner and drag that down. Wow, that's really popping on the inner corner there. Love that for me. And then let's grab my Rose Garden palette and finish up the lower lash line. So I'm going to go into the shade Rosewood, which is a pretty terracotta shade. 
and I'm just going to drag that on the lower lash line. And then the shade Chocolate Rose, which is the deep brown, I'm just going to throw that in the outer corner here. And then I'm just going to go into the shade Gold Rose and Bronze Rose and just kind of throw that in the inner corner as well. Okay, so now I'm going to try out the blushes. So I'm going to use the Copper Rose Cream Blush with the Angle Blush Brush from Color Drain. Let's see how this goes. This brush looks a little bendy, but I think it'll do the job. Let's see. I prefer a stiffer brush usually for cream like the BK Beauty one that I'm always using, but since I have this, I want to try it out and see. That's a pretty color. It's like a very typical, you know, rosy shade, but it's pretty. It's not overly sticky. I think it'll dry down if I give it some time. Okay, next I'm going to stick to the same brush, and I'm going to do Stiletto Rose Cream Blush on this side. So this is like a darker one, so I think think I'm going to need less product. We'll see. I want to see if the colors look different. Like I feel like they don't look that different, but maybe um, once they dry down, we'll see if they look different. Um, I know they have some other colors too that launch originally. These two launch with the collection, so they're more of those rosy hues, but they do have some like a purple and um, like a terracotta shade, I believe that launch when the original cream blushes launched. So yeah, that's almost dry on this side, so we'll give it a little time here. And then I want to try out a lip product. Let's start off with the lip liner. So I'm going to use the shade Decadent on the lips because it's a neutral. Okay, so the lip liner is nice and creamy. And I've been trying really hard to use up some of my lip liners. Okay, I know some YouTubers are really good with lip liner. I'm not one of those, but... Like anything with makeup, it's all about practice. Since I have all this lip liner, one of my goals needs to be that I'm going to try it out. And this color is amazing. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to use the shade Peach Rose. Okay, I didn't mean to end up with one of those ombre lip looks, but with the dark brown lip liner and the lighter liquid lipstick, that's kind of how it turned out. And I'm not mad about it because I needed to get out of my comfort zone. So the blush is almost dry. It's still a little bit sticky, but it's not the end of the world. Not as sticky as some liquid blushes are. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my face and I will be right back to give you guys some of my first impression thoughts on all of this new makeup I just tried. From Colored Rain. Okay guys, so here is the final look with some of my new makeup from Colored Rain. Let me just kind of give you guys some thoughts on the products that I tried on my face today. And of course I will follow up in other videos on some of the lipsticks I didn't try and the blushes and things like that. So as far as the cream blushes go, these are nice. Are they my favorite? Did they blow my socks off? Hard to say still because I've only had them on for the length of this video. So I'm not 100% sure, but overall they seem nice. I can't see myself buying more, but they're not bad. And I like the two shades that were included in this collection. Then as far as the brushes I tried out, they were really nice. I've wanted to try out the Colored Brain brushes for a long, long time. So I'm glad I was able to grab them and play with them. The eyeshadow brushes are very nice. I like the shapes that they chose. I wish I had a different brush for the cream blush, but I think this would be really nice for powder blush as well. Obviously this wasn't made for their cream blushes or anything. I just wanted to try it. I'm also excited to try some of the other brushes I didn't today. So I'm gonna make that brush video. I think it'll be a really good one for you guys, especially because all the brush sets I have are affordable ones and so that's always a plus. And then as far as the liquid lipsticks go, I really like the two shades in this collection. I did try Peach Rose and that one feels very similar to the Color Drain liquid lipstick formula I'm used to. Excited to try the Mavi shade. I haven't ever tried their lip glosses so I'm excited for the clear shade. I am kind of tempted to put it on right now, but I don't want to mess up the lips. So I'm going to wait on that, but this packaging is super duper cute. And then I'm really liking the lip liners. I only tried that one brown shade, 
but it felt so creamy and smooth. I love that they're twist up pencils so I don't have to sharpen them or anything like that and I love the two colors. I don't know if Color Drain has other lip pencils but I hope they expand because this one felt really really nice so very good quality there and then as far as the lipsticks I didn't get to try them today but I'm very excited. I think Colored Red was very smart with the shades they pick for the lip products because they're all very like universally flattering shades so very very excited for that lip collection that was included with the botanical collection. Now I only tried one shade in this palette so I don't have any first impressions. Let me know down in the comments would you guys like to see a video with just this palette because I'm totally fine if you guys want to see it. Let me know if you don't want to see it I'm not going to make one but I'm excited to have that in my collection. As far as the Rose Garden and the Botanical palettes, these are okay. They're not my favorite. Like the color stories are very similar. So I feel like if anything, just get one. You definitely don't need both because I do feel like they're very similar in that sense. I don't know if there was a reason that they're so close but similar. Like was it supposed to be a light and a dark? I'm not sure. I didn't see that anywhere. I'm just assuming. I'm guessing not though because they would have just named it like botanical, light, botanical, dark, right? I don't know. Anyway, they're just okay. Still not completely impressed by these eyeshadow palettes. I don't think that the formula was as bad as Juicy Boost, so that's a positive. But are these as good as like my Safari Rain palette or the Queen of Hearts palette? I don't think so. I'm not getting that same feeling. I still remember trying Queen of Hearts for the first time and just being so, so blown away by that palette. So I don't feel like they've gotten right back to that amazing formula they had but these aren't bad and I'm excited to give them another try. I think these eye looks are fine but again nothing that's gonna blow me away. This eye look I could have probably done with the Rebellious Nudes palette so maybe they're just too close and I don't know why they launched so many things so close together. I'm guessing it has something to do with just the way things are with supply and demand these days. But Those are kind of all of my thoughts on this new collection from Color Drain. It's really fun to see them kind of get back into the makeup. So I'm very, very excited to see what 2022 has in store for them. Hopefully we don't have to wait until the end of the year to see new things. That is everything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.